Hi, my name is Vibeke and welcome to Diving Desk Crochet. Hi, today I want to show you how to crochet these classic pot holders. I'm currently working on a few because I gave a pair to my aunt and then my family saw it and then now everyone wants pot holders. So I'm do doing a few different versions with different stitches. So check out the other ones on my channel. Today I will show you how to do these ones and these are very pretty and classic looking and they actually work so pretty fast because we are working in double yarn and then uh, a bigger stitch. So let me show you how to do it. First I want to talk a little about the materials. I've used this 100% cotton yarn and this is great for pot holders. I have used in a size 8.4 from Hobi and in a dark gray color. You can see the info right here. See, it's a weight one, so it's super fine. And you can see all the other info. I have worked with it uh, double, so you can, of course, use a medium weight four instead. Uh, and then I just took the thread from the inside of the skein and then also from the outside and then put them together and worked as one. So you don't need to have two skeins at a time. You can just work with both ends at the same time. If you want to work with a double, you can also use a, what's called 8-8 eight, eight right here or a medium weight 4. I will, of course, write down in the description how much yarn you will need. Then I've used a 4mm crochet hook and some scissors and a tapestry needle and then some kind of leather band to hang it in. So grab your two strands of yarn together and make a slip knot. And then we chain 40. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and continue on until you have 40 chains. I'm just doing a little sample right now, but just pretend that I have 40 chains. It's the same as if I had 40. So now we have all these chains and now you want to work into the chains. First, you skip the first two chains and find your third chain and you half double crochet into this chain. So you yarn over, then you insert the hook into the third stitch. Then you yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Then you find your next stitch at the bottom, your next chain, and half double crochet into this. So you yarn over, insert the hook into the next chain, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops at the hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Then you find your next chain at the bottom, right here, Yarn over, insert the hook into the chain, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Continue with one half double crochet in each chain all the way across. You chained up 40 and then you skip two chains. So you should have 38 half double crochet when you're all the way across. If you are doing bigger pot holders, then you of course just chain more chains. And if you want them to be smaller, then you chain fewer. Mine are pretty big. They are 23 centimeters, I think. I'm not sure. So now we are all the way at the end. And the way we are working these is that we are actually working in spirals, so we won't finish and start new rows all the time, we will just work in spirals. So now when you are at the end, you turn or rotate. So you just do like this. And we just worked all the chains. Now we want to work the chains on the other side as well. So we have our working yarn. We turn and then we just worked a half double crochet in this chain over here. Now we want to work another half double crochet, but on the other side. So, yarn over, insert the hook in this chain, just on the other side, and half double crochet. Then find your next chain over here, and half double crochet.
and again your next chain half double crochet so continue with one half double crochet all the way across again and I recommend that you count your stitches when you're all the way at the end uh, it doesn't make that big of a different difference if you lose a few but it can be very uneven if you lose too many so if you lose about 10 stitches then it might be a little off and I would unravel it but continue all the way across with one half double crochet in each chain so you will have about 38 stitches when you're all the way across you should have uh, 38 not about 38 so now you see it's bending a bit and that's because we are working directly from here to here we are not doing any increases around here we will just be working all the way across and that's why it will be like a little ball and that would make it a double like this so now you will do the same thing over here you will see your first stitch you did over here you will just be working directly into this so just turn yarn over insert the hook into the first stitch you did on the opposite side and half double crochet into this this first stitch is a little bit tricky but you will manage manage and then you'll just continue with one half double crochet in each stitch and <coughs> sorry now we will be working in spirals i will show you in a minute So now we are working on the opposite side again. So we will just be working in spirals around and around. And finally, uh, it will be a part holder just like this with two layers. And you see when you make it all the way to the other side, let me open it up a little bit. It's easy to see the stitches. This is your stitch and this is a stitch. The first two rows is always a little tricky, but when you get to the third and fourth, it will be very easy to see the stitches. And when you work like this, remember that this is the outside and this in here, this is the inside. So at some point you will need to turn it so you have the beautiful side out. Some like the inside as well, then you will just keep the inside as the outside. That's totally up to you. You will always know the outside and the inside because you will have this beginning loop down here and this is on the wrong side. But it's your call which will be the outside and the inside. I continue like this until I have 24 rows in total and this measures about 22 centimeters. So we have a square that's 22 centimeters on each side. So now we have this opening on top and I will close it up. So I insert my hook into this. I think I'll just do one stitch at the end so we are all the way at the end so you just can uh, crochet until you are at one of the ends and then we will connect and i will push the two layers together so the stitches are across from each other and then i will insert the hook through both layers so through the stitches on both layers and then i will grab the yarn and slip stitch so grab the yarn and pull through everything you have on the hook. Then I find the next stitch. Then I push my hook through both layers, grab the yarn and pull through everything I have on the hook. That's it. And all the way across, just work one slip stitch through both the layers until you have a closed up top start when i'm all the way across i will now cut the yarn and weave in the end so just cut it pull through the loop like this so that it is secured and then you weave in the end with your huge tapestry needle apparently Then we can cut the yarn, the 
Yeah, I found a smaller one. <laughs> And that's it. So now I want to do this leather strap and I cut two pieces of 20, me uh, 20 centimeters each and then I push these through the stitches. So I find a good place where there is a little gap between the stitches. You are able to do this when you work with half double crochet because this allows uh, a bit of gaps. So I just push this through and the other one will come just like this and then I tie a knot so I will put these together tie a knot and then the tricky thing is to do it so tight that it won't get up maybe you should untie this when you wash it I don't know if it holds it might it's leather it should be I don't know. I'm not that sure. Don't wash it. Don't get it dirty. Then I cut it. And that's it. So. It's pretty. Then you make another one and then you have a pair. And that's it. I hope you found this tutorial easy to follow. If you did, please press the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.